please welcome to the stage Julio Torres! <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, do you like uh, my shirt? Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I just read your mind. Um, it's how I uh, uh, convince people that uh, I'm a star. Um, uh, but, you know, I, I, um, I wasn't always a star. I, um, I, uh, I was once a, uh, just a meek little liberal arts college student, um, as were all of you. <laughs> um, um, and uh, I remember that when I graduated school, I went to uh, the new school here in New York. And if you know anything about the new school, uh, this makes uh, sense. Yes. When I graduated from the new school, all I wanted, all I hoped for, uh, was to get a nine to five job uh, that would uh, pay for uh, being alive in New York. <laughs> uh, that is all I wanted. Um, and I thought, well, I got good grades, so uh, job, here I come. Because <laughs> I, I was very smart, but also very stupid. Um, and I thought, well, I have such a great resume, because you know, during, during college, I was addicted and obsessed with internships. I couldn't get enough of them. I, I was just a, a little internship whore. Uh, <laughs> one was offered to me, and I would say, yes, more internships. Uh, I, um, I was once an intern for this uh, uh, literary non-for-profit, uh, and I would go there, and I would sit, and then I would leave. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, to this day, I was there for two years. <laughs> um, to this day, I couldn't begin to tell you what they do. Uh, it's, it was always a mystery. One day, I'd like to know. Um, so I thought, well, you know, I'm ready, I'm ready for a job. So I, I, of course, I tried applying, oh, mind you, uh, I, I was graduating with a, uh, literary studies degree. <laughs> uh, so I, I did what I think everyone does, which is, you know, you email any, like, professor that was ever nice to you, and you're like, hey, um... So, um, Julio, I was in your, like, Kafka in architecture class. Um, <laughs> just uh, wondering if there are any dogs I can walk. Um, <laughs> but, no, I wasn't quite desperate yet. Um, and, I, and I tried for, like, the publishing jobs and nothing. I never got an interview. And then I tried uh, just uh, any, anything vaguely related to uh, what I wanted to do. Uh, and s someone got me an interview at this place called the Meredith Corporation. Now, I was so happy to get an interview and so confident that the only thing that was stopping me from getting a job was like, oh, they just haven't seen me. <laughs> they, just, they just, you know, once I get the interview, I'll be so uh, charming and they'll just love it and they'll uh, like make me the CEO. Um, <laughs> So I, I was very cocky, and I, and I didn't research what the Meredith Corporation was. Uh, so I just uh, showed up, uh, and in the lobby, I'm just trying to gather context clues of what this place is. Uh, and I'm like, Meredith Corporation, Meredith Corporation, what are you? Uh, and then I gather from the context clues that they 
publish very niche publications that cater to like suburban interests. So like uh, gardening magazines and cooking magazines and like uh, uh, like uh, 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 candles that you're never light magazine and <laughs> uh, potpourri magazine. Um, so I, I thought I can I can do this. Um, I am I'm very competent. I can write an article for any of these magazines. Uh, so I I go into the uh, the interview and the first question that the woman asks is why are you interested in a position in sales? Uh, and I and I I fumbled and I and I was like well I like uh, buying things. Uh, so I feel like being on the other side of that would be uh, exciting in the natural progression of my. Hobby. I'm buying things. Uh, and then I could get, I could sense that the interview was just becoming worse. Uh, I, I, was, I, was, I was just bombing the interview. And I was like, oh, Meredith Corporation, what am I doing here? And I was just like, I was just going so badly. And then there was just a pause when we were like literally just like. <laughs> <laughs> and I, in that moment, thought, I'm going to save this, I'm going to save this, and then I just said, I love corporations. <laughs> um, and I did not get hired. <laughs> so then, well, then I decided to do um, something, well, dare I say, risky. Uh, Here it comes. You can all guess. I went to the, what's that quote in The Lion King? To that kingdom, to that part of the kingdom where the light doesn't, Craigslist. I, 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 uh, I went to Craigslist. Uh, uh, Mortar. Mortar from Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, uh, and then I, I was still delusional because I went to the, like, writing slash editing section of Craigslist. Um, and I, I thought, well, you know, I might be going to like this scary neighborhood, which is correct, Liz, but I'll go to like the nice part in the scary neighborhood. I'll go to the writing editing section. Uh, and then I see this ad that says, uh, looking for PG friendly stories about tickling. And I and I was thinking, well, this this might be, you know, maybe it's like ghost writing a children's book. Uh, and I I write I write back, uh, and I'm like, well, what kind? Of, you know, I I you know I graduated from the school, and I just uh, I can I can I can write a story about tickling, sure. Uh, and uh, uh, he wrote back. He it's of course. Uh, <laughs> Like, the worst stories in life involve a he, or are caused by a he. Uh, and uh, he uh, wrote back saying, okay, so what I'm looking for is just like uh, uh, fun guys like yourself to uh, videotape yourself talking straight to camera, uh, no nudity, no lewd language, talking straight to camera, just about how much you love being tickled. Um, and I thought, oh no, I'm definitely in the, like, the bad part of the town. Like, um, but then it almost felt like, like a challenge, because you should know that I uh, hate being tickled. Uh, I mean, I, I don't... Maybe I don't hate it, but I, I think I have the, the average person's reaction to it, which is, this is annoying, why is, why is it happening? Uh, so I thought, oh, well, what a, what a, what a fun challenge. Uh, and it paid, I think, I think it paid like $100 per five-minute video. Um, and you're thinking, oh, that's, you're making $100 every five minutes? Well, no, because to get five minutes of footage that I was satisfied with, uh, that was like a day, right? Um, 
So I, uh, I did the first one, and uh, immediately I just slip into this sort of like, like, <laughs> like all American guy uh, <laughs> character. Um, so I just, I just start talking about like, uh, um, oh, you know, like make my big brother. I don't have a big brother. Like my big brother, he like, uh, he would just pin me down to the floor and he'll tickle me and he'd be like, huh, I'm the tickle monster. Who's the tickle monster? And I had to be like, huh, you're the tickle monster. Um, but then I just went to college and I got stronger and stronger and I came back home and then I pinned him down to the floor and I was like, who's the tickle monster now? Um, he loved it. And I was so pleased. And then, and then I, I, um, because then you think, okay, so like the first one was like set at home, so like the sequel has to be college, right? So the, in, the, in, the, in the sequel, I was, uh, me and like my buddies, uh, we were gonna join a frat, <laughs> and the initiation, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> it just tickled us all night. Um, and he liked that one. Uh, and then, and then I, and then I kind of got too ambitious and I really phoned it in with the third one. Uh, that was just like, it was just about like, I was with a friend and he started tickling me or something like that. And yeah, I got too cocky because then, then he wrote back saying, uh, this is no longer working for me. I, I don't know that I'll ever heal uh, from that. Um, so I, I had to, you know, move on. Um, and then I replied to this other Craigslist ad uh, that said, uh, looking for a magician's assistant. Uh, and I thought, well, that's just fun. Uh, but my first, the first question I asked in the email, the first, and I think the only thing that I asked is, does the assistant have to be female? Or can we just like open our minds and this be like a really like fun thing? Uh, like, can I be the first male? Ma I, don't, I don't know if I would be the first male magician's assistant, but I, I, I was like, oh, maybe I'll, I'll get a job and make some history while I'm at it. Um, <laughs> so I, I, rep I, I, and he writes back like, no, uh, very like choppy sentences. Uh, like, no, that's okay, meet me for an interview, and then, like, uh, the address of a, a cafe in Soho. Um, and then I go into the cafe, uh, and then I realized, oh, I don't know what this magician looks like. <laughs> uh, but then I see a gentleman in all black and a fedora. <laughs> um, and I think, oh, okay, good. Um, so I, I sit down with him, and he's with this uh, woman who's just sort of like, her face, her face was just, just grumpy. She, she was just like either bored or tired. She was just like, uh, and not saying, and she, she I, I like said hi to her, and then like, I, we never got introduced, but like I never got an, her name or anything. She was just like there. Uh, and the, um, the magician, uh, the first thing he says is, I am not magician. <laughs> um, and it was like, well, um, uh-huh. <laughs> Please do go on. Uh, and he, he has this very, um, he's a little surly, but he's very, uh, you, can, you can tell that he's like translating from his native language a lot. So he's, he sounds very pensive and he's just taking his time with every sentence. He goes, I am not a magician. I am a saxophone player. And I'm thinking, well, clearly you know the name for the thing you do, so why not 
looking for a saxophone player assistant. Like, why, why, why are we hiding that you're a saxophone player? That's okay. Uh, in fact, I guarantee more and better responses <laughs> than a magician's assistant. Like, I'm the only one, like, stupid and weird enough to reply to a magician's assistant ad. But if you're like a saxophone player, like a lot of people would, wouldn't mind doing that. Um, but he's just like, I am a saxophone player. I'm like, okay. He's like, I have a saxophone. I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Um, great, you're not like renting. Uh, I'm, I'm a, I have a saxophone. And I play at parties. Like, okay. People are laughing. People are having fun. It is uh, a wedding. It is a uh, retirement. Uh, it's a birthday. They're having fun. I am playing a saxophone. They're laughing. I keep playing saxophone. Any song. Madonna. They're laughing, and then Dick comes out. I'm like, um, why? I was like, why? You just said that people were already having fun. These people are at a retirement party, you just said. And then Dick comes out. It doesn't seem like anyone was asking for Dick. <laughs> um, I'm like, he goes, no, no, no. I have special saxophone. I push a button. And from the hole in the saxophone, uh, like a dick, plastic dick, comes out and from the dick tequila vodka and people laugh they drink um, and I'm still like a little hung up on like why magician's assistant Um, it's just a lie after a lie after a lie. Um, and I was like, well, okay. And then his wife interrupts for the first time. She hasn't said anything. She leans over and she sort of like sees me becoming less and less interested in the job. She leans over and she goes, only saxophone in the world that can do this. <laughs> she is, I think, sick and tired of defending this man. <laughs> He's like, I believe in him. He made it. The dick comes out. I'm sick and tired of explaining it to everyone what my husband does. Um... And I, I asked, like, well, wh what would I do? <laughs> what do you need me for? And essentially what he wanted was someone to um, get him booked for parties. Uh, and he, I think, wanted to charge something like three or four hundred dollars an hour uh, for the, the saxophone. Um, and then he goes, but no one can know about Dick. <laughs> Dick must be surprised for everyone. <laughs> so not even the person paying for the service, not even the person throwing the party can know that that will happen. I thought about it for a little bit. Like, 
maybe I can, I can be the booker. Um, but of course it didn't happen. And I, uh, it was just like yet another job I didn't succeed getting. Uh, but that was not my fault. Um, and uh, now I, I just do uh, this, I just do comedy. But, which seems so much easier than getting a nine to five job. Like, I'll never figure out how to, if you're looking for one, good luck. Uh, I don't have any pointers. Just, uh, um, just uh, be, be a star. Go, go become a star. Because uh, I, I, don't, I, don't I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how to guide you. Um, uh, not that this, oh, and I feel like now this devolved into a Q&A where no Q was asked. <laughs> um, it started like a commencement speech and now it's a Q&A. Um, so now I'm just gonna go. Uh, but uh, thank you, thank you so much. Bye.